A practical approach to teaching the fundamentals of control using the real-time rotary servo workstation from NI and Quanzer. Effective controls engineers have never been more needed than in today's mechanized and automated world. However, industry is recognizing that recent engineering graduates are ill-equipped to deal with the challenges presented by real-world control problems. Perhaps this is a symptom of students not actually understanding and assimilating the control theory being taught, simply coasting through a course just to get to the end of the term? With limited time in a semester to teach these abstract concepts, it can be difficult to motivate students with the traditional theoretic presentation of control topics. What if your institution could have a dream lab, a control lab that helps bring the theory to life, fully aligns with your course syllabus and curriculum, and prepares them to be effective controls engineers? A control lab that is compatible with your existing software, has a modular design to address growing needs, and could even be used as a flexible research tool that pays for itself with every use. Quanzer and National Instruments have teamed up to deliver a turnkey platform for controls education that is designed to give you just that. One of the most popular, flexible, and modular systems built on this platform is the Rotary Servo Workstation. This collection of experiments is designed to cover a broad range of controls topics, including fundamentals such as system modeling, PD position control, controller design via pole placement, and LQR optimization. Over 2,000 rotary servo workstations have already been installed in the top engineering institutions worldwide. Let's take a closer look at how you can complement your course with the rotary servo workstation built on National Instruments and Quanzer's modular components. The rotary servo workstation is driven by NI LabVIEW with Quanzer's Rapid Control Prototyping Toolkit. This new toolkit allows your students to easily interface with the experiment and focus on learning controls. The rotary servo curriculum comes complete with pre-lab handouts and in-lab step-by-step instructions. The rotary servo base unit is both a standalone rotary controls experiment and the base unit on which additional modules can be mounted. Ten different rotary experimental modules are available to build the ultimate controls teaching solution and ensure reusability irrespective of the subject area for years to come. The Q1C Rio is a new module for the NI Compact Rio designed to seamlessly interface Quanzer control experiments to Compact Rio based controllers. Let's now take a look at each of the rotary workstation components in more detail. The topics covered have been mapped to the common controls topics presented in the three most popular control theory textbooks used in the United States and Canada. This makes the curriculum a straightforward, practical instructional tool out of the box, saving months of course development time. All courseware exercises come with pre-developed LabVIEW VIs that are clearly commented to aid the learning process. The curriculum provided with each of the rotary modules allows you to teach advanced controls topics across various disciplines and courses. The Rotary Servo Experiment is both a standalone rotary controls experiment and the modular platform on which an additional 10 rotary experimental modules can be mounted. This modularity allows you to teach the fundamental control concepts with a rotary servo workstation and with minimal incremental investment expand the scope and capabilities of your lab to meet evolving teaching demands. Students can also benefit from this modular approach to lab building. They can be introduced to the platform in their introductory level courses, then hit the ground running when presented with more advanced laboratories based on the already familiar rotary workstation. This building block approach to learning allows students to concentrate on learning controls without getting lost in the details of implementation. The rotary servo is driven by Quanzer's VoltPak X1, a single channel voltage amplifier. This amplifier can drive 17 different experiments providing you with the flexibility to reconfigure your labs without having to make an additional expenditure. Every experiment and amplifier is open architecture. This means you can easily repurpose your rotary servo experiments and amplifiers for your research goals. To interface Quanzer's rotary servo experiments with the Compact Rio real-time controller, we've developed the Q1C Rio module. It's been designed by control engineers for control engineers and as such, each module has a unique set of I.O. ideal for control interfacing. Each module has one analog input, 
one analog output, and two configurable encoder input interfaces. All IOs are accessed simultaneously using unbuffered single point reads and writes, a requirement for real time control applications such as the control of the rotary servo workstation. These specifications, coupled with the real time performance capabilities of the C Rio, will provide you with an unrivaled real time control platform. The Q1C Rio has been designed with the same ease of use and connectivity as all of the rotary workstation components. Plug and play connectors and provided cables allow students or laboratory technicians to make fast, error-free connections when setting up a control workstation with no requirements for stripping wires or soldering custom cables. Workstations can be assembled and disassembled reliably, time and time again, in minutes. User manuals and quick start guides are also included to minimize setup and debugging time. All curriculum and control VIs supplied with the Rotary workstation are based on the RCP toolkit add-on, LabVIEW, with CD and SIM and math script modules. One of the key benefits to the RCP toolkit is that it helps students get up and running quickly, allowing them to concentrate on learning the fundamental concepts of controls. The RCP toolkit includes a fixed FPGA personality for the CREO. This allows students and instructors to control their experiments and run their labs without having to learn a new tool. Instructors will appreciate that all DAC outputs are zeroed, no matter how a student stops their control VI. This ensures a safe lab environment. For professors who are interested in using LabVIEW and the CREO for their controls, robotics, or mechatronics research, RCP Toolkit offers them a unique set of features. These include a convenient set of communication VIs and the ability to port control VIs developed for Windows directly into the CREO platform. Both features can save hours of development time. Let's take a look at how you can teach some specific controls topics using this rotary workstation to equip students with experience to tackle real-world controls problems.